yes no tarot reading i've got three readings for you to pick from for today i've got pick a card read number one pick a card read number two pick a card read number three um if you'd like to pause the video really zone into your question figure out what your question is make sure it's a question that can be answered with yes or no i'm running a little bit late this morning when I get home tonight, I will put the timestamps in the description. But if any regulars here want to put the timestamps in, that would be a massive help. Otherwise, I'll do it when I get home. Private readings are available from my website. If you want to support the channel, put a like on it, subscribe, turn your notifications on. So let's get on with today's pick a card, tarot card reading. Yes, no readings and why. Welcome to pick a card reading number one. Yes, no and why. While I'm shuffling the deck. Really focus on your question. Open your mind's eye. I'm going to split the deck into four, four elements, four seasons, most importantly for angels, offering us a cycle of protection so we can give and receive all of these messages with an open heart and an open mind. These are going to be quite quick readings today. So we've got... We've got a yes, but, <laughs> we always have a yes, but, or no, but, but, yep. Uh, we've got the three of swords in the middle. We've got a yes, but there's something that you've been holding on to. Um, there's heartbreak, there's pain, internal pain. Things are going to get better, but you, there's work you need to do. The star is here, which is about cleansing, healing, um, being guided in the right direction and then we have the five of wands if you don't let go of the pain it's going to cause upset for you long term when we hold on to pain when we hold on to the past the negative past we then become like frictious you know I don't know if frictious is a word but the five of wands reversed is about petty little drama and little things that really don't matter and cards are telling me that the past doesn't matter. You're going forward. This is your moment of cleansing. This is your moment of letting go. This is your moment of, you're going to be okay. You're going to be okay. You have to have faith in it. When we feel run down, when we're in a place of pain, we then hold on to other people's negative words and take everything the wrong way. Um, we come quite snappy, but we also feel hurt by other people's snappiness as well <clears throat> and i think that's the message that's here i'm going to pull some oracles see what other message that we have if you'd like to support the channel put a like on it subscribe turn your notifications on um all of the things that really does help out it's the people of the channel your visitors of the channel the people power that's power in the channel to get through to people that have never been here before we're growing at about 10 subscribers a day at the moment which is just bonkers amazing i can't believe it um so emotional withdrawal yeah sometimes you just need to take a little bit of time out you're going to be okay you are going to be okay stand your ground you're going forward don't let anyone draw you into their nonsense um material and spiritual prosperity you're going to be okay let go of the past you're moving forward Use this time as healing. You're moving in the right direction. Choose love and be loved. Let go of anyone that causes you any nonsense. I'm going to end reading here. going to wrap you in a massive bubble of protection so your angels can take you on your way. Welcome to pick a card read number two. Yes, no. Yes, no. Yes, no. And why? Um, hold the question in your heart, in your mind, mind's eye, while I shuffle the deck. Well, well, right, the deck's like, come on. I'm going to split the deck into four, four elements, four seasons. Most importantly, four angels offering us a circle of protection so we can give and receive all of these messages with an open heart and an open mind. Okay, it's a yes. It's a yes, but let's dig into it. We have the Knight of Swords reversed. Someone's made a pet 
someone's made a mistake in the past, you or someone else. The hanged man, you are at a transition at the moment. There is a sacrifice that you need to make to move forward. And the eight coins is they're going to put the work in. If someone rushed in and rushed out, they may well be coming back again. Or you may be deciding to move on from them. Um, but it feels like with the Knight of Swords, it feels like an air sign possibly around you who made a massive mistake. Um, a bit of a mistake. The Knight of Swords, they they rush, they rush in, they 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 see their thing and off they go and they don't really think about much. Um they don't really plan things, you know. But the hangman's all about you being at a transition period, you being at a crossroads. I think they may well be coming back in again, or it may be whatever your question is, it with work and making the sacrifice, you can move forward and yeah, I'm going to pull some oracles, see what other information that we can get. Um, but it's a yes to whatever your question is. Um, and it's a yes, you're going in the right direction. Um, and you know the sacrifice that you need to make, don't you? You know what it is deep down. So you just got to get on and do it and it'll be worth it. Um, also with the eight of coins, there may be something that you're really good at that it's time to make money from. Um you need to start doing that. So there's that for you. And you can make real, you know, profit from it. And uh, it's time to master your skills in all of the ways. So let's see what the oracles have. If you want to support the channel, put a like on reading. Subscribe, turn your notifications on all of the YouTube things. Any creators that you like, you should do that. Yeah, so the Knight of Swords reversed is linked to heartache and loss. They made a mistake. They fancied you. They, their feelings for you were real, but it's almost like they didn't plan things out. They didn't quite do it the right way. Um, and they're kicking themselves, I think. Financial and material changes. Yeah, that's good. And rejoice in celebration. You've got something on the go that's going to bring you good things. Uh, really good things. Um, so keep doing what you need to do. You know the sacrifice you need to make. This reading is a yes. The past past behind you. That may be a theme today. So I'm going to wrap you in a massive bubble of protection so your angels take you on your way. And I will see you soon. Welcome to your yes, no tarot reading. Hold your question in your head while I shuffle the cards. I'm going to split the deck into four, four elements, four seasons, most importantly, four angels offering us a circle of protection so we can give and receive all of these messages with an open heart and an open mind. Yes, but there's a caution. There's a caution. There's lots of unconditional love here. The main card, when I do my no, my, uh, no card spreads, um, the indicator is the middle card. If it's right way up, it's a yes. And then either side, it gives us extra information. And because either side are reversed, it's like the page of cups revert. The page of wands reversed is someone's a little bit shallow, not you. Maybe someone around you. And they think about themselves a lot. And we've got the king of pentacles reversed. And again, that, that's the same kind of energy, but they're old enough to know better. They know that they shouldn't be like that. Um, they can be a little bit insensitive, they can be quite materialistic, but the King of Cups is in the middle. If you're being drawn between two people at the moment, go with the one that loves you unconditionally, not the one that's overly material, because people who are very materialistic, they're consumers. You can never fill that void, because when they, when they buy the thing, there's always something else to buy. If someone loves you unconditionally, it's overflowing, it's never ending, it's beautiful, it's fulfilling, it will fill you and it, then you will be full of love, overflowing and knocking onto other people as well in a most beautiful way. Um, it's like that thing of if you smile at someone in the street, you pass the smile on because they then smile back but then they're more likely then to smile at someone else and it goes on and on. It's the same with yawning, if you yawn everyone in the room will catch the yawn. Um, unless they're trying really hard not to, but 
there's someone around you that really loves you unconditionally, but there's also someone who's a bit materialistic that's out for what for what they want and they're quite insensitive they won't talk about feelings it's, it feels like they shut you down sometimes the page of ones reversed for me is somebody who talks about themselves non-stop they big themselves up a lot um they want everyone around them to be loyal to them but they show loyalty to no one but themselves and they can be really hard to deal with so i'm gonna pull some oracle cards see what other information that you get there's someone that loves you unconditionally. Maybe a water sign, but I don't know. You know who they are. You know who they are. And it's a yes. Whatever your question was, it's a yes. So if you're still here, if you'd like to support the channel, put a like on it. It doesn't cost you anything. And subscribe, turn your notifications on. It's all free. And it really does help put my thumbnails in front of people who have never been here before which is amazing and you guys are just so sweet and lovely and awesome spiritual strength love begins this is really nice you have to let me know if you've like if you've watched all of them let me know what your question was let me know you know i'm curious and um, patience and planning it's going to take a bit of time you're going in the right direction. Love begins. There's someone that loves you unconditionally. You could be broke. You could have nothing in the world and they would still love you. Um, and instead of buying you big flash gifts, they will give you little sentimental gifts that mean the world. That are priceless. Um, but there's someone who's insensitive that it's time to detach from as well, so... That's your reading for today. I'm going to wrap you in a massive bubble of protection so your angels take you on your way. I hope everyone is doing great. The exhibition's going great. I'm running late this morning. <laughs> I'm just, like, tired. It's, like, the it's the most physical activity I've done since the pan beginning of the pandemic. And my body's like, really? What are we doing? Hanging up artwork, walking. I've walked miles the last couple of days. But we're now at the point where we're fully settled in. So I think the next 12 days, my maths is rubbish. We're just uh, being there and it's great and it's nice. We're meeting some really awesome people and seeing old faces that we know and recognise and love. And yeah, it's just fab. So, but I can't wait to get back to normal and just be here reading for you guys all of the time i'm missing that's what i'm missing so if only i could find a way of doing it both you know our oh, exhibitions and tarry reading and it like anyway i've got to go i will see you soon if anyone wants to put the timestamps in the comments um i will check in later and if anyone has i will pin them if not i will sort it out when i get home i will see you soon